Now for some more buying considerations. Again, we talked about the brand. Uh, that's just pretty much a personal choice. Uh, there will be different articles where different people say that one brand is better than the other, but uh, just try to decide that for yourself. The next thing I want to talk to you guys about is the speed of the CPU. And this is one of the main things people look for when buying a CPU. Now the faster the speed of the processor, the faster it's going to process information and therefore the fastest your computer is, faster your computer is. Now the speed of the CPU is going to be measured in gigahertz. Now just to give you guys kind of a range of what you're going to come across, anything between 1.5 and about 2 gigahertz is going to be good for like browsing the internet and typing documents like in Microsoft Word and stuff. Anything between 2 and 3 gigahertz is pretty much suitable for small games or um, if you're going to be using your computer pretty often and a little bit bigger, bigger programs in Microsoft Word. Now anything above 3 gigahertz on your CPU now you can get into the big games and you can start editing photos and video and things like that. But if you're going to be working with editing photos and playing huge games, I wouldn't go any lower than 3. So, now that we got the speed and the brand, the next major important thing I want to talk to you guys about is the socket of your CPU. Now, this isn't really important as far as performance goes, but making sure it's compatible with your motherboard, it's very important. Now, what the socket is, is pretty much the pin configuration. Um, you don't really have to know about too much about pin configuration, but you just pretty much have to know that your socket has to match up with your motherboard. And in this case, I'm going to be using an AM2 socket, so when I bought my motherboard, I needed to look for a motherboard that supported an AM2 socket. Now, the last buying consideration I'm going to talk to you guys about is my favorite, it's my most exciting one, it's the cores. And what this is, is pretty much how many CPUs are packed into one CPU. And I know it sounds complicated, but that's pretty much what it is. The most common types of cores are your single core CPU, which is the baseline CPU. Dual core, which is pretty much two uh, processors packed into one. And the quad core, which is just a beast of a CPU. Now, what the benefits of multiple cores have is the more cores you have the more applications you can run at once and therefore you don't have to wait for other applications to load and it just makes your computer run a whole lot faster so again your buying considerations brand speed faster the better socket make sure it's compatible with your motherboard and cores the more the better now in our build today, we're going to be working with the AMD, which is the brand, Athlon 64X, uh, I believe it's a 64X2, which is pretty much, you just have to know that it's compatible with your motherboard. 2.0 gigahertz, that's our speed. We're going to be working with a dual core and an AM2 socket. Now, the things I have to make sure that they're compatible with my motherboard, AMD, I need to make sure I got an AMD motherboard. Athlon 64X2, that's the uh, type. It's kind of like Ford Mustang or uh, Ford Taurus. Uh, this is the Mustang or the Taurus. This is what part that is. So that, and I'm going to be working with the AM2 socket. So again, socket type, the brand, and the AM2, whatever that's called. So now we got our CPU picked out, we're ready to move on to choosing our motherboard. So make sure to watch my next tutorial and make sure to subscribe to my channel to get all my latest videos. So I hope you uh, learned something and thanks for watching.